Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Diane, and in this video, I want to show you how to create a digital tie-dye t-shirt design in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're actually going to make this design right here. If you're interested, some of the brushes I did use here are from this set of tie-dye inkblot brushes volume two. So you can get that on my Shopify store at thegypsygoddess.com. All right, guys, so we're going to jump into creating this design. So what we'll do is go to file new to create a new document. We want to make sure that we're at color mode CMYK. The resolution should be 300 and then we can start with inches. So if we're uploading this somewhere, we wanna make sure that it's a square so that when we're printing this as an all over print pattern for a hoodie or a t-shirt, the design will spread across and you'll have more of it. We can start out with 20 by 20. I typically like to do 29 or 30. 30 inches by 30 inches. You can even go up to 37 inches at 300 DPI. Once you do that, you'll go ahead and go to your layers, create new layers. And if you're using the Photoshop brushes or you're painting the actual brushes in here, we use my Inkblot Tie-Dye Brushes Volume 2. If you wanted to move the shapes around, it's easier to move the shape, increase or decrease the size when you have them in separate layers. So I'm just going to jump into this design that I've already created. I added a couple of different layers for this one. This shape right here, it was a little too light. So I duplicated it and then I added a shape down here. I found a design that I kind of wanted to replicate online. Not the same exact design, but something similar. So I like the ink blot effect that you're seeing here. Was I split up this design to get a different variation? And then I filled in the middle with a little bit more shape. If you wanted to change some of the colors, you can add a color overlay. Some of these colors, if you don't like the gray, you can always change it. Just keep in mind that it doesn't matter what color you start out with, you can change it later on. So say I'm happy with this design. Let's go ahead and save this. So we'll save it twice. So we'll save a JPEG with the white background behind it. And then we'll save a second one with a transparent background. We'll go to File, Save As, and then you can name it whatever you want. And we'll go to JPEG and we'll save it on the desktop. And the second version that we're actually going to save is we're going to turn off the background layer just so that we have transparency. So in case we wanted to print it on a different colored shirt, just to give yourself options as far as like the design of the t-shirt, we'll go ahead and save as, and then we'll choose PNG down here, save it on the desktop, click save. Now that we've saved our design, we'll go ahead and upload this to a print on demand site. I actually use Printful. I have an account on Printful and this is connected to my Shopify store and my Etsy shop, but you can see here all the items on my Shopify store. I'm just going to show you how to upload the design on Printful. We'll make another video in the future for how to set up your account on Printful and connecting it to either Square Squarespace, Shopify, or even Etsy. If you're interested, let me know. Comment below this video. The way to get there is I clicked on this link right here and you get to choose whatever store uh, you want to add a product to. So let's go ahead and choose my Shopify store. And then from here, you can add a product. We'll put this design on an all over print hoodie. The actual product that I like to create is the all over hoodie print and it's unisex. So it could be great for both men and women. But this is the product that I always choose. From here, it gives you a couple of different options. It does let you upload it to the front, back, right sleeve, and you can definitely create kind of like a variation of the design for the right and the left sleeves if you wanted to do that. Let's just click on drop your design here. And then we'll go ahead and upload. And then we'll look for our design, the JPEG version. So once our design is uploaded, I'll give it a second here. We can go ahead and place it. And so that's how it's going to look. You can move it up or down. You can even 
increase or decrease the size. So for this one, let's go ahead and kind of move it to the right a little bit. And then on the back, we'll do the same thing. We'll choose design one. There are other things you could do, like you could even flip this the other way so that you get a little bit of a variation on the back and then as well as the right sleeve we'll go ahead and place this here and then we'll just do that and the same with the left sleeve we'll go ahead and choose the same design and move it around when you like the placement and then it has you do it on the pocket as well so we can kind of move this around and you can increase it. I always like to increase this so you can get a different variation of the design on different parts of the sweater. And then we'll choose this one last time. And if you have a logo, you can always drop in the design here, but we're not going to do that this time. So once you're happy, you can click on mock-up view and then it'll ask you down here if you want the draw cord and the stitch color. So I'll just choose white for now. And then now we can click on mock up view. It just takes a little bit of time. That design looks really cool. You can see how the design is placed on the front, even the back, and then, you know, on the sleeves. So you can definitely create another variation for the sleeves and the hoodie. And if you like this design, you can always replicate it and add different colors so that other people can have different things to choose from. Let's go ahead and proceed to media. Once you add this to your store, it's going to ask you which mock-up you want. And so I just normally choose the first mock-up. You can name this as gray tie-dye hoodie, unisex hoodie. And then we'll go to proceed to pricing. And this is where you can change the pricing as far as how much you want to sell it for. But I typically don't like to sell it more than $60. So I just choose this price range because I just, I think it would be overcharging people. And then this is how much profit you would make. Since this is print on demand, it's made to order. Printful does take a cut of the proceeds since they're printing and they're shipping everything to your customer. We'll go ahead and submit to store. So now that it's done uploading, it's going to ask you if you want to edit in Shopify. Make sure you're logged into your Etsy or your Shopify so you can see it. So it's pretty automatic once you click on which mockups you want. You can see how it looks on the back end. It even fills out, you know, all of the description for you, fills out all of the sizing and the prices and even you know, the website SEO, you can definitely change it if you want. Product type, I typically like to do tie-dye clothing. That's what I've labeled clothing collections here. The tag for this one, I typically do unisex hoodie hoodies, and then it'll just show up on my actual collections. Once you're happy, you can click on save. So now we can view it in action so yeah guys this is live on my site now so it's pretty easy how to sh set up your print on demand store on your shopify site or etsy i'll do another video where i'll walk you through etsy if you're interested i really love the way this turned out i might make this design in other colors as well if you have any questions anything at all please let me know comment below this video and if you like this content please consider liking this video and subscribing to my youtube channel all right guys thanks so much bye